In this video, I'm going to show you a really good defense for defending a lot of the popular meta right now. And honestly, this defense um, is something you can use uh, to defend compression bunch bunch formations at a pretty high high level. So we're going to get into it now. If you want to get my full uh, defensive ebook on this, we're working on it. We're going to be dropping it this week in the Patreon. But I actually dropped in the Patreon today uh, two film rooms and a mini guide. Uh, that kind of explains the philosophy a little bit more in depth and the application um, of this defense. So if you want to learn more about it, the uh, join the Patreon. You get everything by being a member. You get all of our ebooks, all of our updates to the ebooks, any little film rooms or anything like that that I put out. Um, you get all the all the content. So if you want to get access to that, uh, the link is in the description. It's only ten bucks to become a member. So I think that this um, the, the the best offenses in the game, really the two top offenses in my opinion. Uh, when you think about from a competitive perspective, what are the most effective tactics available? Um, bunch and tight to me are the two big, uh, the two big hitters. And so this defense actually will be decent um, against both bunch and tight. Okay, um, it will actually do decent job against both of those. So I'm uh, just going to set a couple of audibles here for us from tight, and then uh, and then um, show you show you some of the defense. So with bunch. Uh, you're going to have this bench pivot play. You're going to have Z-spot. Um, you know, you're going to have verticals, of course, and mesh posts. Those are kind of your primary, um, you know, your primary things you're going to have to deal with. So here's the here's the defense. What you want to do is you want to go to auto line. You're going to put this on base, uh, and then you're going to put this on match, okay? And then what I like to do is we're going to drop uh, these zone drops if you want to. We're actually going to start by putting our curl flats on 30, and the reason we're going to put our curl flats on 30 is we're actually not going to use curl flats. Uh, I think curl flats are one of the worst zones in the entire game. Um, just my personal opinion. And uh, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to put our curl flats on 30. And then we're actually going to come out in nickel 3-3. Three, three. Um, again, we have a full defensive ebook on nickel 3-3 three, three cub, uh, which I go, I'm go i going to go more in depth with this defense uh, in our actual ebook release on the nickel 3-3, three, three, which will be later this week. We're going to give you great pressure from this. We're going to give you great run defense, everything. But here is a coverage I really like right now. So it's cover four drop. And literally all we're going to do is we're just going to shade our coverage underneath. Um, and what this is going to do is these hard flats, when they're base aligned, um, they're going to play pretty decent. And then what I like to do is you basically, I mean, literally this is pretty simple, clear cut defense. Um, what I like to do is take this linebacker and put him in a hard flat. And then you can, Basically use that slot corner um, as your man coverage guy. So you can put him in man on the slot. Um, you know, if you're worried about a tight end wheel, you could put him there. You could put him in a simple vert hook for all. I mean, whatever you want to do. But what you're going to notice is this, when you have the KO abilities, um, like the deep zone KOs and stuff, this can be pretty good. Now, something like that might be there. But what we can also do is we can actually turn these into cloud flats. Uh, so, again, we're just going to shade underneath, and then we're going to shade over top. And what you're going to notice is these guys are going to go into cloud flats now. And a cloud flat is going to get a little bit more depth. And it's actually going to lurk that out route. So this is a very adaptable defense. Um, it's very uh, simple, uh, but it's very, very adaptable for sure. Now, the other thing that I wanted to suggest with this defense and why I think it's actually really good for the current meta um, is because most people are running corner routes out of compression. When you run a corner route out of compression... Um, these outside quarters are going to do a pretty good job. You're going to see here, if I try to throw this, that outside quarter is right there, especially if you have deep out zone knockout on him. Um, that's going to play pretty good. Now, if I go to tight, um, what I want to also recommend is that you basically play cover four to the short side and cover three to the wide side. And I'm going to explain why uh, with this play PA slot cross. Um, so PA slot cross is an example of a play that can be kind of unique. Um, and can give this a little trouble. If they have a good quarterback uh, and if they know what they're doing, there's this little window you see right there that I can kind of throw this over the top of the deep out zone knockout. So as I was kind of like crafting this defense, that was happening. So I wanted to say, how do we stop stuff like that from happening? What you want to do is you want to play cover three to the wide side of the field and cover four to the short side. So what we're going to do is we're going to play our hard flats and then we're going to middle third that safety and we're going to outside third that right side safety. So what you're going to see now is we're playing again cover three to the to the uh, wide side and cover four to the short side. So here we go. Here it is again. You're going to see the same basic thing. 
But now you're going to notice that we have safety help, and this is now going to be double teamed as opposed to being a, a pretty big play against us. This still allows us to be able to have the flexibility uh, to be able to defend a lot of what people are going to do from a corner route perspective. Um, one of the most popular route combinations from Bunch is to put this left side guy on a C route and to put this guy on a streak. So let's say they do something like this. Maybe they run like a mesh post um, or whatever. And what you're going to notice is this quarter is going to play pretty good, right? And if you have a deep out zone knockout and a pick artist right there, that can be a very, very good defense. And there's a lot more to unpack on this defense, but the basic formula is this. We want to play cover four hard flat to the short side and cover three hard flats to the wide side. And then we want to basically play some chess with this hook curl defender. Do we want him in a hook curl? Do we want to put that guy in a vert hook? If you have this vertical hook here and they try to run this vertical's wheel, um, you're going to see that vertical hook will play really, really well against that. So this coverage defense is one of my favorite right now. I'm having a lot of fun using it, actually. Um, and um, you can apply this also. You can apply this to anything, okay? You can apply this to dollar. You can apply this to 3-3 cub, anything. Um, I'm just kind of tinkering around with this 3-3 right now because I wanted to drop a defensive ebook on this. Uh, for you guys later this week. So the full mini scheme is up on the Patreon page. Um, if you want to sign up for the Patreon to get access to all of that material, the link is in the description. 10 bucks to get you access to all the ebooks, all the updates. Thanks for watching the video and look forward to seeing you over at the Patreon.